or if you want to go through and make a video out of pictures so you can put it on YouTube and use that for different processes, there's a simple way to do that. PowerPoint's one of the easier ways to do it. All you do is open a new PowerPoint, then you go up here to Insert, and then here you're going to look for Photo Album out under Insert. Now you just go right here, New Photo Album, that's it, and then you search for File Disk, and it's going to load up, and then I'm going to grab some homes. So these are homes for a property for sale. Let's say that I've talked to the agent and it's good to go. It's my listing. I'm ready to sell it. I take all these homes and I drop them in all those pictures. I just hit Control A to, or Command A if you have an Apple and it gets all of them highlighted. And then I hit Create and it loads up. You see now I have all these homes here in my photo album. You delete the first one so it only has the homes and then you have them ready to go. Now this is active a home right now. So if I wanted to advertise this, this is a way to do it. And then I can go right here to File. And then once I click Export, you're going to look right here where it says Create a Video under Export. And then once I want it, I probably want it to be at three or four seconds per slide. Five is a little bit long for me. And I want a large size. And I want to, you know, don't use recording or timing. So I'm going to go here and hit Create Video. And it's going to go through. Um, I'm just going to put it into Documents. And I'll call it test video, just so I can know where it's going in the downloads, I mean. So I dropped it into downloads, and that's exporting the video. You can see at the bottom that it's automatically exporting it. And you can see it's pretty fast. We have a good computer here, so it's moving pretty quick. And then you just have to wait for that video to export. Now, for me, when I did the video, now it has no sound or anything else. So what I like to do is I'll take my computer here. Let me show you how I do this. And I'll make a new one. And this is just a program called OpenShot, which is a free open source program. So you can see right now the video is exported. So I'm ready to go on that. I open my OpenShot. I hit the green button for plus. It opens up. I find the video, which again, remember, was in our downloads. I'm going to go right here to downloads. And here it is. And it's going to be right here. All you have to do is drag it in there. So here's my video, just over a minute and a half about. Now, once that's ready to go, I want to put some music. I don't just want the video to be placing through. So I'm going to go here and hit the plus. And I recommend if you don't have any music to choose, I use a thing called Snap Muse, which is a great way to go through and get free music. It's $8 a month, very inexpensive. And you have uncopyrighted music to use for all of your pictures, for all of your videos, anything you want. And here I have a bunch. I'm going to grab, say, some electronic dance music today. And then once I get that in and I get it loaded up, my computer will get there. It's kind of taking a second to pick it up from this hard drive. And there it is. And now the electronic dance is in there. And I'm just going to add that video here. So you see the music is now longer than the video. So I'm going to go to this little snip button and just snip it even. So right here is my even snip. That looks pretty good. And then I turn off the snip, I click it, and then I delete it. And now my video and my music are equal. And then you just hit the red button, and then you tell it where to export it, where to send it, and then you pick a browser, you browse it, you put it somewhere, and that's it. And then I have the video, I have it ready to go. I'll show you if I just hit export. I'll call it again, we'll say, you know, test open shot, and I'll drop it into my downloads folder one more time so I know where it's going. And there it is, and I'm gonna export it. Now you can see it happens pretty fast. You don't really have to wait that long. And the good thing about this is you can add videos more than one. If you have a couple like a subdivision, you want to show different homes in a subdivision, you can do that. And then as you go through, you could put a picture instead. So I can also just add a static picture instead of a video saying home number two. And I can do that on Canva or anywhere else and then drop in that second picture to make a conversion. Or my first picture, instead of just being like it is now, I could actually have the address right there or the MLS number, and then I can put it in here, and then the next one would switch over. And then my music, each home, I could do a different music type to kind of make it different cool. And as you can see right now, it says done. I'm good to go. I'm going to go here and open that. I'm going to go to my downloads, and here's open shut right there. And then it's going to play. And then you see right now it's playing music as it goes through. And you see it only stays for three seconds for each home. So it's an easy way to check it out, kind of advertise some homes you have out there, and kind of take a look. 
and see what you have and what you can advertise. It's simple, it's free. All these are free programs. OpenShot is free, it doesn't cost anything. PowerPoint, of course, when you have Microsoft Office, you have that. Easy way to turn that into a nice video and you can easily do it. You see it took five minutes there. We put it together a video. You just the longest part is downloading the pictures, making sure it's a good house, making sure you get permission and everything, and then you can have fun with it. Hope that helps. Talk to you soon.